born March 3, 1917, Januaria Constantino Keller, or Memming to her friends. She was a Swedish Filipina mestiza. While she's known as a beautiful actress, it's when she fought the Japanese that cemented her place in Philippine history. Before the war, Carmen Rosales enjoyed a life of luxury in the spotlight as the Philippine darling of cinema. A dressmaker and a wife prior to her acting career, Rosales made her film debut in the 1938 movie Mahiwagang Binibini. Rosales took the stage name Carmen Rosales after the municipality of Rosales, Pangasinan, where she's from. Life was peaceful for Rosales, her husband, radio personality Ramon Novales, and son Rene. But when the war arrived at their doorstep in the worst possible way, when Ramon was killed by the Japanese forces, Rosales immediately took up arms as a guerrilla. Now, she will have the chance to prove her heroism outside the limelight. With her husband's death, Carmen Rosales was dragged into the grim reality of war, but instead of resigning herself to grief, the actress took up arms to join Hukbo Laban Sahapon, or Hukbalahap, the guerrilla force that launched a rebellion against the Japanese occupation. For a few years, Rosales shed her career as an actress and became a guerrilla fighter. Armed with a 45 caliber gun, she terrorized the Japanese occupiers in Calabarzon. During her time as a guerrilla fighter, Rosales oftentimes disguised herself as a man and wore a false mustache. Think about it like this. It's equivalent to Lisa Soberano wearing a mustache and going to war. The cause to free the Filipino from Japanese oppression took Rosales to the countryside, particularly Santa Rosa, Laguna, where she was part of a mission that killed a Japanese collaborator. As the war dragged on, Rosales was forced to flee to Silang, Cavite to evade capture, but eventually the Japanese found her. A Japanese soldier by the name of Yamamoto persuaded her to star in a Japanese propaganda film. And by persuade, I mean that he gave her an ultimatum. Agree to the film or else he would kill all the people in a village in Pangasinan if she refused. Fortunately, MacArthur landed and the Japanese surrendered, ending the war and freeing Rosales and millions of other Filipinos. The people of Pangasinan couldn't forget what Rosales did to save them. And it's said that the towns of Carmen East and Carmen West were named after the hometown war hero. After the war, Carmen Rosales went back to acting, where she shined the brightest. Here in Historiador, we will focus on the forgotten heroes that fought to save our country and events that shaped our nation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Adios.